Good morning. Hello, everybody. So we are back and we are doing a quick little video um, because Laura came in today and I had posted her pictures yesterday and uh, those pictures were like, I think I, I got a lot of uh, comments on those pictures um, st about her, uh, people saying that she looks so good and how old she is, how young she is. How young I am. Yeah. Okay. So Laura, tell me, uh, so Laura turned uh, how young? 50 in January. Yes. She turned 50 in January and Laura is my hairstylist. Hairstylist, for sure. Hair many, consultant. Yep, hair consultant. For many years. At how Giovanni. long? How, how many years? Uh, it Giovanni? has to be, how long do you have Giovanni? Jesus Christ, that's a I long started time. with you when you, at Global, and mm. then you moved to Giovanni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've been together ever since. I know. Wow. Wow, it's a long time. All right. And we've, we've progressed. Our friendship has grown. And yes. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Uh, wow, I didn't just, re I, I didn't realize. I thought that uh, you were just, uh, um, like, the, uh, so uh, the, I didn't know. It's so long. Eight years almost. Whoa. Right? Wow. Eight years. Cool, cool. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. <clears throat> anyway, so yesterday, you know, uh, before you'd burn my neck, dude, Sorry. this is like hot. It's hot. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> be gentle. I will. I'm a little she's, rough. She's rough with me sometimes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. you have it. I know. Shut. Uh, you know, yeah. if you're lying. Oh, <laughs> my can't. mom and dad could be oh, watching. Dear. No, no, no. Mom and dad can't be watching. They're like probably yeah, having. <laughs> Are they having breakfast? Most likely, yeah. All mm. right. So I have mm. a question for you. Mm -hmm. So I have a wrinkle mm -hmm. on my eyelid. Mm -hmm. So what do I do about it? Do I go get surgery? Is it fixable with fillers, Botox? What is your suggestion to me? Because it's really frustrating. And it's from eczema hmm. that I suffer with. I don't know if anybody, or any of our viewers suffer with eczema. But this time of year is absolutely awful for me. Even hmm. though it's not that cold. So it's just this, it's here. And I, I want it gone. What do we do? So I was looking at your picture very closely and uh, I know that you regularly with me, I have been doing your Botox, I've given you fillers. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that, uh, the thing is that uh, what you have not done so far is uh, you haven't done all therapy. Let's do it. Uh, Talk about it. It's I fucking expensive, dude. Okay, it's all right. And it's, uh, plus also it hurts. Well, if I get surgery, it's going to hurt too. You, you're not going to... You, so, I am against surgery at fucking 50. So, tell us about... So, tell us about L-therapy. Mm. What does it do? What will it do Don't for Don't wear my hair, though. <laughs> I, I'm know. All, I know. I know. I can't walk with you gum. <laughs> I get all into the L-therapy. What, what does the L-therapy do? Yeah, my hair is in her grasp and she can No, can't. no. We can talk about your hair. Laura. You have to clarify your hair because your your hair holds a lot of moisture I and know. oils. But I can't be washing my hair every day if I have to get my hair done every day. No, I understand that, but just you know, like you know, this week, week I have to get my hair done every day because I might be going on TV. Fox News, guys. <laughs> no, don't say. Oh, it. sorry. <laughs> you didn't hear that. Take that back. Erase that. <laughs> Can we delete? Uh, no. Click she, all, I will get it edited. I mean, there are only three people right now. So, <laughs> all right. So, so what is all that? Hi, Arthur. Hi, Arthur. Uh, well, anyway, so. Um, what is all that? Therapy basically tightens your skin and okay. gives it a lift. It uh, tightens and lifts. That's it. Okay. That's it? 
Mm-hmm. See, so every every uh, it's an ultrasound basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's a targeted ultrasound. You want me to say all of that in the morning? <laughs> I, this was not about the thing. I wanted to say. What did you want? To say? What did you spray? <laughs> hairspray. I hate hairspray. Oh. What kind of hairspray is it? Elnet. I love it. It's my favorite. What? What? Show me. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna read what's in there. Yeah. <sighs> it is so. I mean, there there are ingredients, you know, in it. I know. Listen, everything has something in it. <laughs> we went quiet. This has so many things. I know. Everything has so many things. In my plight to try and. Uh, okay, I'm not using this anymore. Well, I'm gonna use it for right now. <laughs> Like you don't have to say. I'm okay. the boss. You're the boss of <laughs> what goes in my face. I'm the boss of what goes in your hair. Okay. I love Elnet. L'Oreal Elnet. I'm it's sorry. Okay. Compare spray. I have now. I have to like. You know. I didn't. Uh, the, uh, you didn't put hairspray in my hair yesterday. I did. But for some Fuck. reason. Fuck. I, I, I should have washed it then. No. No. It's good. It's better when your hair's a little dirty because it gives it a um a little more hold. Like fresh hair to curl it, it's it just it's too clean. I need like a little texture. I've been doing hair over twenty years, guys. I think I know my stuff. Sometimes we don't see eye to eye, but I know. I sometimes I want to choke her. Some relationships <laughs> are just like that. like that. Like her full face of makeup and I bare skinned. Listen, I uh, there was one day where I was completely bare skin. Today, I I we I wanted to highlight your face. So the other day when we went and we took pictures and uh, I uh, put your uh, face up at that time, you had um, you had makeup on. Oh, but yeah. and we had like the perfect sunset mm-hmm. filter at the cloisters. It was like. Was there was nothing that uh, could be wrong with any face at that point. So we had like the perfect natural yeah. filter. Uh, and today uh, I want to look at you and I want to like basically uh, figure out that at 50 with minimal Botox, with minimal fillers, you look a certain way and uh what else can we do so now basically at giovanni what do we do we make five-year plans we make 10-year plans what do you want to look like five years from now what do you want to look like 10 years from now and that is the plan that we basically go by right well so now at this point it is for you to decide what do you want to look like at 60. do you still feel like you want to look like this at 60. so today it was not about me, it was about you. I know that you're doing my hair, but this is something that we're going to be talking as one of our first podcast uh, uh, things also, we're, and we're planning to do our podcast. At that time, probably uh, she's going to be like perfectly uh, nicely ready. But I want to know, should we talk about her jawline and everything that she's she's very nice, but most of it is... The fact that it's uh, through genes. Hi, Geeta. Uh, hi, Charia. Hi, Tyra. Uh, hi, Mysoon. I know uh, all of you guys are watching. Thank you for watching. Again, so today, Laura is actually doing my hair, and I had posted her picture uh, uh, just yesterday, uh, and uh, this uh, picture was uh, after she had turned 50, and uh, we it was uh, she had she had her makeup on but basically we had like a nice sunset filter and it was like really nice but recently she has had her botox done she has had her fillers done um uh, she even had her lip done so we are uh, trying to uh, see that what is uh, at 50 what should what are the things that she should be doing uh, aside from all the things that she already does so that she can maintain the way she looks for the next five years and uh, in the short term and the next uh, 10 years in the long term. So then when we plan, we also have to figure out where is she in her life at this time? She I, uh, she is for probably going through some form of perimenopause um, for sure. and for sure. 
You you still get your period, right? I I haven't in a in a little bit. So okay. I'm I mean I'm starting and and so that's this natural. is a this is a time where uh, we are going to start uh, monitoring her hormone levels and uh, what she's eating, what she is uh, drinking, how much exercise she's doing, what is her cardiac health like. And um, uh, then she does exercise. She's really good. She does. Uh, do you drink alcohol? I do occasionally. How? What is fucking occasionally? Uh, I would say once a month. I mean, I, I will tell you lately, I feel like, it's just been a little bit more because I've been socializing. Because you you are fucking around. Because I'm fucking around. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because you have so many dates to go to. I, okay. You know. Just, listen. Just, I'm a young female. No. Just stop. Just yeah. fucking stop. You know. So. Uh, so right. just fucking stop. Just stop. Would you? I just tell them, hey, you know, the other day I went to this juice bar and the juice was just as fucking expensive as <laughs> well, the, a tell drink you. that you might get. And I think if you get a juice correctly made and uh, really sourced correctly and they know all the things that are actually going there, that is really expensive. That should be way more expensive than a drink. Let me tell you, there's a spot on Gun Hill Road in the Bronx, uh -huh. okay? Their protein drinks are $7. I've gotten protein drinks up in Scarsdale that cost me Don't make me 25. look crazy, okay? Oh, no. Does it look, this is... Uh, I'm setting your hair. What's crazy about it? I have to take it down. I don't want to look like a palm tree. <laughs> right now I'm looking like a palm tree. <laughs> oh, look at me with no makeup. Actually, it is not that bad. No makeup. I can... <laughs> I'm not too I'm not too bad without makeup. Oh, this is like new trend. <laughs> this is how you get your hair done and how it's going to hold all day. All right. You I know, as though the too. shit that we have to put in the hair for it to hold all day. Otherwise, I look like hair is like sticking. Maybe I should just start wearing hats and just protect my hair. No. <clears throat> it's I, I took such nice pictures with that hat. I know, you really did. I, 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 my hat picture is like a super hit. I'm going to just start wearing hats. That's it. So I don't have to fucking do this shit. All the time. Yeah, but we don't. We haven't really done this. I mean, it's just this week because of what's gonna transpire. But you just blow out your hair. Okay. Why do you feel like that? Why do you feel like, like you're like what? What are you doing to your hair that makes you feel? Eh? See, the thing is that uh, I'm also getting old, right? So I'm like a very menopausal. This is the time when women start losing their hair, and you, the hair thinning starts over here. And I work a lot. I do a lot of anti-aging. You know, I am like fearful of everything. So uh, like, uh, you know, uh, David was saying that you are omni, omniphobe, omniphobic. I'm like, <laughs> I'm afraid of everything. Yeah, but you know, well, <clears throat> I think that as far as hair loss goes, first of all, I think... Oh, just hormonally hair. I mean, I'm I think, fucking 49 now. No, but I think it has to do with genes, mm. stress, and again, how you take care of your body. That's the I thing. Know. I know. I take care of my body. Listen, yeah. I, I've You've been like... You've cut out a lot. I, I, don't, I don't drink. I don't smoke. Yeah. I sleep properly. I meditate freaking two yeah. hours a day. You know, that's crazy amount of meditation. Just to decrease the inflammation in my system. And it's, <clears> it's <throat> how you, I believe, look at life. Again, I've cleansed uh, well, pretty cleansed much uh, a whole bunch of stuff. your mindset. My mindset, basically. I mean, the only thing we can really cleanse is ourselves, right? Right. That's all we're responsible. For. But uh, again, uh, you are responsible for the way you want to look uh, for the next uh, in the next five years, uh, the way you want to look uh, for the next ten years. Mm -hmm. So uh, at this point, uh, the only thing I would suggest is to uh, before you start thinking surgery, surgery. I mean. Just uh, just do non-surgical stuff because uh, see the lifespan uh, of uh, uh, people have increased. Uh, so if you are an average person lives uh, uh, to at least uh, 
uh, around 75, 76. What is the average lifespan? I don't know, time? but I, I want Seven, uh, 78 or something no like that. No way. I want to go well <clears throat> close to, to 90, 100 with quality of life. Like quality of life and uh, you don't want to look like a hundred when you are a no. hundred I, I i can tell you know my the oldest client who comes to my office she's 92 stop it i'm not kidding what does she get done she gets her botox done she gets her fillers done she does it once a day she was like she was uh, 77 when her husband died and at that point, she uh, went, uh, within two years, she uh, found somebody else. She uh, got married to, uh, not married, they started living together. And uh, she has been with that guy and the guy is like 99. She's a rock star. Yeah, fucking not a rock star. She comes, she gets her shit done and she's like, always her nails is done. She's, she looks great. That's and and she feels like she's in her 80s and that, that and she looks like she's still in her 70s so uh and not even in 70s i would say like maybe there i've seen 60 year olds who look uh but the thing is that she uh, had done uh, at some point uh, a surgery so her first surgery was like at 65 mm -hmm. so what i tell people is that you know hold off on surgeries and hopefully by the time if you keep doing some of the Damn, do you still, again, you sprayed the fucking... <laughs> You're okay. <clears throat> you I... just made me lose my uh, train of thought. That's it. I'll have to edit this uh, entire video. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, no, I'm only kidding. You know, we are, you, you know, I know, we, we are raw. We're <clears throat> raw and unfiltered. We're uh, unfiltered. And whenever we put a filter, we let everybody know that that's the filter. That's the filter. <laughs> but I don't live in that filter world. Yes, yes. Sometimes. And we shouldn't. We no. shouldn't. No, no, no. no. <clears throat> Absolutely not. Joni is uh, saying, uh, Laura, that uh, she Joni wants you in her house. Oh. Hi, Joni. Hi, Joni. Hi, Gazala. What do you want me to do in your house, Joni? You know, Gazala has uh, moved to uh, Singapore. Oh, wow. How does she like it? Uh, well, uh, she's posting a lot of pictures and apparently she seems to be having a very good time. Good for her. Yep. Is she single? Married? Uh, I don't know. Zala, are you single? Are married? you single? <laughs> what is Zala, oh, what is your marital status today? You know, every day you have to ask yourself, are you single or are you married? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm, ma I'm currently married to myself. I am currently married to Giovanni. Yeah. <laughs> I think I am too. I'm married to myself <laughs> and to Giovanni and to the process. And okay. what do I want to be when I grow up? What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a rock star. Can I be a rock star? Like I am a, a rock J -Lo? star. You are. Uh, you I are. am. What kind of rock star? Where no, not like a rock explain? star. You know what I want to be? I I want to be. <coughs> um, I want it. I want to be an inspiration to women that are maturing. And I'm not going to say getting old. Can you stop I'm, making me look like a palm tree? Yeah. But I kind know of before you finish. <laughs> I know, but like. You can continue with your speech. No. But <laughs> I can't walk and chew gum. Sis. Listen. Okay. All right. I yeah. want to be an inspiration. I want to be a beacon of hope for women that are that are hitting 50. I want them oh, yes. to see that it's it's, it's not possible. the end. You it's know, possible. I have it's so possible. many friends that Listen, she, are Listen, uh, she, you are uh, one of the people who have inspired me to like really maintain myself and my weight and everything and I want my ass to look exactly like your ass well when I'm 50 true story <clears throat> so I I was always um a little rounder in in the bottom area <laughs> always and, and I'm Italian round. my background I, and, and I always hit it I always yeah. covered it up. Uh, okay. And I was always um, embarrassed of my body. And... I know body dysmorphia is a very, very big problem. Actually, I Ooh. have such a crazy <coughs> body dysmorphia. But I... Wow. I know, it looks good. Oh, my God. 
Ooh. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. You look like, you look like, um, Sophia Loren. Oh. oh. What do you think, guys? How's her hair? Come on, comment. My, my hair, uh, seems okay. But it always anyway, seems okay. I, I know, but it, my hair is like right now full of shit because <coughs> she has sprayed so much shit in my hair. It may look nice, but it's full of shit right now. Yeah, you need it. This is such, like, uh, uh, I know, but look how beautiful this looks. Yeah. Well, anyway, I, we need to come up uh, with products that actually don't do <laughs> this. And you happen to like this shit? I like what it does. And <clears throat> I, I know that you're not a fan of it, but we're not going to focus on that. <laughs> well, just... well, we are focusing on this we're because... Gonna... See, I am part of anti-aging uh, 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 yeah. crusaders. Yeah. I am an anti-aging crusader. And I basically like to not use products I that know. basically damage us. And I am turning 49. I don't want to start thinning out just because I want my hair to look gorgeous. Maybe I, uh, I need to start wearing hats. And let your hair go gray too. Yes, when I turn 50, I'll... No, no. I, as long as I'm in your life, I told you, you're not going gray. Listen. Thank you, Tyra. I don't have anything mm. against women that allow their hair to go gray. Kudos, power to you. That's your prerogative. Mm -hmm. But... I don't know. I feel anyway, like... so Laura is going to be doing a therapy. I did a therapy twice last year. I don't care about... You know, so we uh, let's do your uh, therapy. Okay, we're gonna right? do therapy. And uh, uh, not your uh, mental therapy you need every day with me. <laughs> I get my mental Physi therapy. You, uh, how, how do you get your mental? Where do you get it? I get it from the gym and I get it from meditation. I know. That's, you're very good. I'm actually going to be taking a course in teaching meditation. Uh, so, you, uh, Giovanni is starting the Transcendental Meditation. Uh, uh, at our uh, office yeah. uh, and so next month guys uh, people who don't know how to meditate we are going to be uh, doing these classes and this is one one of the reasons that meditation is so important is that it decreases inflammation in your system and you have to do it in a certain way and it is very very important that uh, uh, we all uh, must learn to do it and uh, even kids, uh, and oh, the, there so are so many uh, ways uh, that meditation would help you. And I know I have a doctor's office, we're a doctor's office. And plus, uh, we do uh, anti-aging and wellness. And uh, I have started telling people that you have to meditate because you have to decrease the inflammation in your system so that your immunity is boosted. And one of the ways you have to boost your immune system is to calm it down and keep it calm down. Uh, hydrate well, sleep well, get your IV vitamin infusions, IV. by the way. Um, uh, there and is a move. risk of uh, 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 influenza and uh, everybody's talking about coronavirus also. So uh, just know that um, I will be actually uh, uh, talking about coronavirus later uh, in the day. And not a lot, a, a lot of people don't even know what this virus is. Just letting you guys know uh, there in, if anybody comes out and tells you this and that and all the bullshit it's COVID-19 people don't know what it is right now they're still figuring it out the, the, med, the vaccine for coronavirus is still like three four months uh, uh, at least uh, for a few months we won't even have any access to it so uh, the only way to really protect ourselves is uh, um, to basically boost our immune systems. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is no reason to uh, also have like some uh, mass uh, delirium or hysteria about it also because basically what it is is that it is like a very bad flu. Uh, and uh, But flu kills um, millions of people every year uh, also. 
uh, but what is now going to happen is that because of climate change and everything, they are uh, predicting that more and more these superbugs will start coming. So what I try to tell people is to really keep your immune systems boosted. And that's what I try to do for myself. That's what I try to tell everybody. And that is what is really needed for everybody to do. So, uh, but aside from all that, Let's get back to beauty. Oh, and uh, uh, so she, the Not the this. basic thing is that you are gonna we are gonna uh, so uh, I we're gonna discuss her picture also. So uh, she has like a few a little bunching like that's happening right under here. This is a uh, muscle basically, and what I'll do is that I'm gonna give her a little bit of Botox here. So I could see that she her face was completely perfect, but this had started. Mm -hmm. Coming. So we're going to work on that. So oh my God. So you love her hair, guys? Yeah. Did I do a good job? So she listen. Did. So anybody who wants to uh, book their appointments, please. Uh, oh, you know, we are live on Facebook. Yeah. And uh, Laura, you don't have a freaking... She doesn't do have mean? a Facebook. I do. I actually do have a Facebook. Laura Cons. But I'm big. But call, uh, you, if you guys want to book her appointments, text Giovanni. Text Giovanni, Instagram, mm. Laura Khan. We'll forward the message. Underscore Because she is my hair consultant. But the thing is that uh, she doesn't have her own page. All right. Okay. okay. Bye, Bye, guys. guys.